guys, Carolyn here. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Super Junior's 10th full length album. I have all four group versions in front of me and then I also have Dongye's member version because he is my ultimate bias along with Wano if you don't know. So I am super super excited to have this and to be opening this. I had the hardest time getting these albums. I have pretty much decided that I'm done buying SM albums from K-Town for you because I feel like every time I try to something goes wrong. So yes, let's start with the group versions. It comes in this super pretty box, which I'm obsessed with. And yes, all four versions are in here like this. This box is a much taller than the ninth album, just so you know, but look at this hollow. I'm literally obsessed. It doesn't even look as good on camera. Like it looks so nice in person. And then we have the members names and age order on this side. And then these are the other spines. But yes, I'm just about to leave for work in like an hour and I got these albums and I was like, let me just open them real quick because I go home at like 8 p.m. tonight and I was like, I really just want to open them. So yes, we will go through all these versions. So um, I don't know which one to start with. Oh, they're units. That's right. So this is Itok Dongye and Shiwan. So let's start with this one. But look at how pretty these covers are. Like oh my gosh so there's three units and then there is a full group version so also ignore how gross my nails look i did not plan to film a video today yeah the next couple of weeks i'm gonna be really busy with like graduation stuff i actually just applied to graduates today which is so exciting um so i'm gonna be really busy trying to graduate the next few weeks but yeah, I mean, I have one class I have to take in the summer, but it's like an elective, so it's not really a big deal. Okay, so I think the way this works is you get one random member card in the unit versions of like whatever unit. So like in this one, I can either pull Itok, Dongye, or Shiwan, and then you get a postcard, and then there's a group card too, or like a unit card. And then in the full group version, you pull one of ten, nine? nine photo cards i always have to remember how many members of super junior there are currently so yeah so let's look through this photo book here is the track list i think my we'll go through my favorite songs later but oh my gosh these outfits <laughs> oh my gosh i'm just so happy to finally have this album like sm has been teasing this album since november of last year like i was fully prepared to collect super junior and monstex at the same time um, we have some Shiwan pictures. That blue background is so pretty. But like the lighting, the work with the lighting in this, oh, so nice. Then we have Dongi with Burn the Floor, which is one of my favorite B-sides on this album. Burn the Floor is just like such a interesting song for SJ, I feel like. Like it's just not a very SJ sort of song, but yes. Then we have some unit photos. Tongue's hair looks so fluffy. Closer is one of my other favorite songs on this album. I'm obsessed with that song. I actually love Super Junior ballads. Like, I don't love a lot of K Idol ballads, but I love Suju ballads. And I don't know what SM does to their ballads, but they're just like amazing. So, yes, the melody's a really pretty song, too. Oh my gosh, these photos. Tongue's wearing the weirdest outfit, but like, God, he's so handsome. <laughs> Look at his curly hair. Ugh. I am like super Dongye biased, by the way, if this is your first SJ unboxing from me. Like, I'm super Dongye biased. But, I mean, you know, I've been standing Suju since 2009, so like, it's been a long time, but oh my gosh, so pretty. I just love him. <laughs> and I just love post-military Super Junior. Like, this album is their best-selling album, like, first week sales. Um, and it's just like, in first day sales, I'm pretty sure too. And it's just like amazing to see Suju thriving. Like they get a lot of hate, but everybody wants their group to be like Super Junior after the military or like Shiny. Like Shiny and Super Junior are the way you want your groups to be um, after military enlistments. And here we have a postcard of the unit. Why is Tommy standing so far away from everyone else? I mean, I guess he's sitting, but why is he sitting so far away from everyone else? And then that's the back of the postcard. Just cute. I'll probably keep these in my binder. And then a SM ad. Thrilling. Love a good SM ad. I don't even care to open that the full way, honestly. It's an SM ad. 
and then here is the group card which i blurred these out on my template for donge but i probably i didn't realize at first that you got them in the album so i probably will put those in my binder for each unit and then my card is oh my gosh wait i think i saw it <gasps> i did not i literally pulled donge's photo card Oh my gosh, especially because he's in a unit with Shiwan. I have a Shiwan blessing. I always pull Shiwan. I was like 100% I'm gonna pull Shiwan in this album, but stop. Okay, here is his back with his very um, messy signature. <laughs> his signature is so messy. Oh my gosh, I cannot, I cannot believe I pulled it on a photo card. This is the best way to start off this unboxing. Oh my gosh. Well, I knew I was going to pull one Dongye card because his version, like his member version, comes with one of his two photo cards, like one of two. Um, anyways, let's move on to the next version. But I was not expecting to pull him in any of the group versions because I literally never do. This is the next unit. You get a lot of photos of each member too, which is really nice. Somebody's mowing their lawn outside. I'm so sorry if you can hear it. Yes, let's go ahead and look through the photo book. Yep, oh, yep. So this is Chindong, Kian, and Inhyuk's unit. I, my bias between these three is Inhyuk, so pulling his card would be really nice. Um, but I don't really have a preference on whose card I pull from this version. I'll probably just keep whoever I pull. Um, yeah, pulling Kian would be fun though, because I rarely pull Kian, so house party how do i feel about house party um yeah so at first when i heard the song i was like oof sj i don't know if this was the move um but the more i listened to it and then watching the stage performances i really love the song i think it's a super fun song um and sj are really good at fun concepts like they try to do more serious concepts and i just think that they have always thrived at more like funny concepts like they're not really made to be a serious song group um but yeah i really like that for their title tracks it's just yeah really nice really nice to see them on stage i also love how they incorporated heechul into this album um a lot more than they have in their past couple of albums if you don't know heechul um cannot dance anymore and so sometimes when they're making songs with heechul they will make it so that somebody else covers his part on stage or like they don't include him really in the song at all he's just like in the music video um and this time they made it so that he has a way to like participate in the the stages and stuff which i love like i love seeing he on stage with the rest of the boys um feels weird calling them boys because they're all in their 30s <laughs> um these outfits are so pretty though like that's a really nice jacket on shindong but yeah, so I really like that about House Party as well. Like, I feel like the past couple albums, they haven't been very good at including Heechul. But this album, I feel like, was a was a good album for that. Okay, now let us see my inclusions for this version. So, here is the postcard you get. It reminds me of, um, in Hyphen's first mini, the Dusk concept. And then SMAD, I'm not even gonna open it again, because, like let's be real none of us care <laughs> and then the group card is looks like this so it's the same set as their postcard there's all their signatures on the back and then my photo card oh it's Qian. so i pulled q's photo card really really cute but yeah like i said i'll probably just keep whoever i pull i'll just like i'm gonna reset up my binder in a way that will like accommodate all of the other cards that I pull. But yes, let's move on. So this is the Heechul, Yesung, and Ryuk unit. Here is the photo book. I might just, oh, this one's pretty. Heechul and Yesung are actually my second and third bias um, of Suju respectively. So I'm actually okay pulling anyone's card in this unit because I love Ryuk as well. So, um, but pulling either Heechul or Yesung would be super cool. I'd love to pull a Heechul card. I feel like he's kind of a hard member to collect. Not as hard, like, the way Suju works, if you don't know, is Dongye is the hardest member to collect. 100%. There was one point in their career where Kian was the hardest member to collect, and now it's Dongye. I think it happened while Q was in the military, but it might have been before. I don't really remember. <laughs> um, but Dongye is the hardest member to collect. Lunyak, I feel like, is also kind of a hard member to collect. 
um, which it didn't used to be like that at all, but D and E albums like Dong A is harder than Eun Hyuk. Um, and then after that, I feel like Heechul and E took, and then everyone else is pretty equal. Well, no. So I, I think it's like, oh, it's a pretty picture. I think it's like Dong A, Kyuyan, and Eun Hyuk, because there still are a lot of Kyuyan stands. And then E took and Heechul, and then after that, there really isn't any i mean shindong is the easiest member to collect but everyone else i feel like is pretty much even Okay, and then here's the CD. I'm pretty sure the CDs have been the same for like all three of these versions, so I'm sorry for showing you the CD three times, <laughs> but you know. And then let's see here. Postcard. Ooh, pretty. Kind of wish you could see the chandeliers in the postcard a little better, but. That's and then SM ad, again, not even gonna bother. The unit card. Looks like this. Pretty. And then my. <laughs> photo card i think i saw it was yes i think it's yes but let's see it is yes i saw his hair uh yay oh he is so cute so yes i'm super happy to have a yes card because he is my he's my kry bias and also my uh, my third bias so super happy to have his photo card he looks so handsome in this okay let's move on to the group version now okay now in the group version like i said you get one of nine photo cards and a group card so hoping that the dong a looks continues though i don't have high hopes it would be nice to pull like if i can't pull dong a to pull like anyak or kian or but it would be nice to pull like um somebody who's on the harder collect range who would be easy to trade for for dong a there's not a lot of super junior collectors on Instagram too. Like that makes it hard as well. Oh, I love this concept so much. <gasps> wow, they just like kings of South Korea, I think. You know what makes me really sad is I sometimes I think about this interview that I don't remember who was talking in the interview, but it was one of the members of Super Junior and they were saying how they had a plan to go to the u.s in 2020 to tour and then covid like ruined everything as with every other tour for 2020 and sometimes i think about that because of my old groups i mean i guess treasure is an old group now so i've never seen a pink i've never seen treasure i've never seen sj i've seen monster x and infinite but i've never seen those two and i really want to see sj like i really want to see Super Junior in person. I really want to see Dong A in person. It's like a life goal of mine. <laughs> oh, it's so sad though. Like the last time Dong A was in the United States for like a tour or something was for KCON LA, which was just like impossible for me to get to. Like I just couldn't do it. And it was so sad. I think that was like 2017, 2018. It was before he went in the military, I'm pretty sure. This photo shoot these photos are like matte photos um whereas the other ones were glossy like the other three photo books were glossy so that's pretty interesting that this is a different paper Here are the things too all together. Look at Yui Sung's things too. And he Joel, like literally, and Dong Ae wrote an essay. <laughs> like, Dong Ae, you've released so many albums the past couple of the past year. Like, I just what? Why the essay? Dong Ae. Anyways. He's just a very grateful man. Okay, and then here we have the CD. I'm pretty sure it's the same CD as the other three versions. So again, apologies if it is. But let's see who I pulled. I think I like this cover the most. I like this cover a lot. So here's the group postcard. 
I wonder if these are gonna be three pocket or four pocket or two pocket items right there. SMED, the group card, so obviously it has all the members on it. So, ooh. Nice, nice, nice. And then the photo card looks like I got Yesung again. I did get Yesung again. So, yes, this Yesung card will be up for trade for Dong A. So, if you have Dong A and you want to trade for Yesung, please let me know. I haven't seen a lot of these cards going around, which is concerning. Um, but yes, <laughs> that's okay. I'm happy to have pulled at least one of my top biases. So, yes, let's move on to my Dong A version now. I love member versions for SJ. Like I truly love them so much and I think I just really like the way SM does member versions for SJ. I've always really enjoyed that. They always give them lots of like member specific things and I've kind of seen what's in this. Um, I don't really remember everything that's in this but I am excited because I feel like there's a lot of Dongy stuff. Um, my handles, mine is a little damaged at the bottom as you can see but hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad when I open it up. This is also the same size as my other Dongae and Wano LPs, which is really nice. These will all- yeah, it's very sad. It's very dented. I don't know what happened. But yes. Ooh, we have lots of stuff here. Okay, so I think- okay, here's the CD. Let's start there. CD, which is different. But yes, look at the, the backing for the CD. So pretty. I don't even know how to show this properly on camera. Okay, and then this is his, I think this is like a circle poster, poster is what it's called, but it's not random, it just is with whatever member you buy, um, which a lot of stores didn't allow, oh my gosh, this, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff, wait, hold on, um, a lot of stores wouldn't let you choose your member, um, I know Sub K did, I ordered this from an eBay store, but like K-Town for you and other stores like that wouldn't let you choose even though it's very obvious from the outside what member you have. So yes, here is one of Dongae's um, square posters and then his other one with the fluffy curly hair. Oh, so cute. And then what is this? This is, it has Dongae's face on the front. Oh, it has his thanks too. It's like a mini photo book. <gasps> Shut up, this is, he's so pretty. Oh my, oh, look at him, old bias of 11 years, just like, oh, look at this man, he's so pretty. Oh my gosh. And then here, oh, side profile pic, oh my, oh my gosh. So cute, and then here we have the lyrics to all the songs again. And that's it for the Dongye photo book. And then I think this is a group photo book. What's this? Oh, another poster. <laughs> so much Dongye. I actually love this picture of him. Oh my gosh. And when I hang this up in my new apartment, then what? Okay. And then, oh, it is a group poster or a group photo book. Oh, but it's this concept. I really don't like Dongye styling in this concept. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. I just feel like SM just, eh. Oh, it has this concept too though. I do like this concept. I was wondering where these concepts were in the other photo books. I just figured they were like, when this was first announced, I just thought that like, there were gonna be four versions that each had like a concept. Um, yep, that was it for that. And then let's put all of this away. There is an envelope that has like the random stuff in it. Now there are two potential photo cards to pull. I really want to pull the one where he's with his mom because that's going to be the harder card to get. Also, it's just such a cute card and it's a selfie and like Dongye doesn't do selfie cards really. So I really want that card. Um, otherwise I'll find it somehow. But here is the postcard you get with whatever member version. Oh, it actually feels more like a photo than a postcard. The other ones were very obviously postcards. And then the card. Oh, SM ad. Nice. Oh, please be the mom card. <gasps> I think it's the mom card. It's the mom card. Oh my gosh. Oh, my mother-in-law. Oh my gosh. 
Stop, I love this card so much. Oh, I cannot believe I pulled. My luck today, man, has been unreal. Like, how? Oh, it's the same signature, I think, as his other card, but oh my gosh, I cannot believe I pulled this card. So I just need his other card from this version, which I feel like will be kind of hard to find because, you know, you had to buy like the member specific version to pull a member card. Um, so I think it'll be kind of difficult to find that card, but that's okay. At least I pulled the more difficult card. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those cards. It was a card that, like, when this album came out, everyone was talking about it, like, regardless of who they biased. So that is it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry it's so late. Like I said, K-Town for You hates me and literally, like, didn't want me to have this album, so I had to cancel my order and rebuy it elsewhere. Yes, I'm super happy to finally have these albums. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I should have another haul up soon. I think that'll be like the next kind of unboxing sort of video because I have a lot of mail that I just need to open. So I'm going to um, do that next. But yes, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.